We've got incoming. Getting a little rattled here. We got incoming fire. This shouldn't take long. We've got your target. You think that hurts? for the Hail Mary here. Incoming rockets, watch out! Another scar. Was that the brains or the brawn? Does that make me the new leader? We've done it. You Kiwi Scout sure had me worried for a second. Was afraid I wouldn't get the chance to use this! Hold that thought. What's our status, Brucey? We good? Oh, yes. So good. Tony, was that a gamma burst? Why am I reading a gamma burst coming from inside the tower? Not to worry, everything is fine, all part of the plan. Bruce, what the hell is going on down there? <laughs> Something far worse than hell, Tin Man. Ah! Lilith, like I said before. The Dark Mother thanks you so much for the Gamma Accelerator. Couldn't have done it without you, Tony. Did I miss something? He is lost to us. Fallen to my mother's corruption. Yeah, sort of a thing now. You played us. Well, played me. The code, this. Also, you could steal your precious accelerator. Fight her off, Bruce. We both know you're much stronger than this. Always trying to play the hero, Tony. Well, here's your chance. Save the world. Take the shot. Disappointing.
Okay, I'm going to sleep now. See you guys tomorrow. Tony, I, I don't know what to say. Then don't say anything, because I don't want to talk about it. Tony at a loss for words. <laughs> That's a first. It's happened before, and it's never a good sign. He's deeply shaken. Yep. Lilith has a hope. Well, that was crazy. I didn't have Avengers Tower goes boom on my end of the world bingo yep. card. This is not a game, Deadpool. It was a major loss. So what, a guy's not allowed to deflect with humor? Lighten the mood a little? It's getting stuffy around here. Be careful not to go overboard with the jokes. I'm not going to use everyone's traumatic backstory for my stand-up routine, if that's what you mean. We all thank you for that. I'm just saying morale has been in the dumps since the big guy joined Wanda in Brainwash Town. I have noticed. I feel for him, you know? You do? Yep. Uh, not having any control over your body. Been there, done that. Not a big fan. I'd rate it a big fat zero. I understand what you were saying. Didn't know you were part of the Body Snatchers Club. Not entirely. The collar I wear keeps me balanced. Okay. No offense, Hunter, but you don't look like a scale. What happened to your pals gives me the creeps, and I relate. It brings me no joy either. We will recover them. Great! I'll book a session with a therapist now. Bring tissues. Well, time to go around the Abbey and deliver joy like Santa Claus. Please do not do that. Boo! No fun! Let's be real. We all know what's going to happen with Banner and Lilith, and it rhymes with the word sulk. And when Banner gets sulky, whoever he hurts is going to be on Tony's hands. We should talk. You're right. Yeah. Let's talk about how your mother just turned one of my best friends against us. I am sorry about Dr. Banner. It is always hard when our comrades fall. I appreciate that, Hunter. But you don't have to tell me about war. I fought my share of them. Then, you know the risk. As did he. We're all willing to risk our lives. But this is different. What Lilith did to Banner was unthinkable. She changed him. Yep. Listen, I know what happened to Bruce isn't your fault. But... But I'd be a fool if I said I trust you completely. You're Lilith's kid. Could your mother turn you the same way she turned Bruce? What if she has already? If that were the case, none of you would be standing here right now. Yep. You might be right, which is part of the problem. <sighs> I don't know anymore. This is beyond anything I've ever faced before. These people look to me for guidance, but it feels like I'm stumbling around in the dark. I was told you are a soldier. I was. A long time ago. 
Then you Not know war is always uncertain. Learn from this experience, and ensure that it never happens again. Or give in to doubt, and surrender now. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. Not exactly my branch of the service, but I get the point. You know, I think I might have misjudged you, Hunter. I am the child of the Dark Mother. It is only right for you to be wary. I appreciate that, but the truth is, I was angry about Bruce, and I took it out on you. That's on me. Yep. I'm sorry. Let's start over. Okay. Hi. I'm Steve Rogers. What do you say we get to know each other? Yes. This is... Are all modern soldiers as well trained as you? I haven't been a soldier since 1945. Then why do they call you Captain America? <laughs> you could say it was an old nickname that just stuck. You still have not answered my question. Listen, today's soldiers are some of the bravest, most dedicated people I've ever known. But my training was different. Yes. I volunteered for a special procedure in hopes of creating the world's first super soldier. It worked. But the man who invented it, Dr. Erskine, was killed soon after. So to answer your question, I'm the only one. Yep, a superhero. How do you like being an Avenger? Maybe it's the soldier in me, but I just like being part of a team. Is that why you created them to begin with? I think you misunderstand. I didn't create the Avengers. Oh. I was under the impression you were their leader. Oh. I'm good with tactics. That's all it is. Believe it or not, I didn't join the Avengers until the first time Bruce quit. He didn't take that well at all. Nearly tore apart New York. Dr. Banner? Impossible. <laughs> he's a different person when he's angry. You haven't seen anything yet. And still you let him come back? Everyone makes mistakes, Hunter. Ours are just larger than most. There is something about you that I cannot place. You seem different from your friends, almost. <laughs> Older? I suppose so, yes. I get that a lot. Last time I checked, I was 102. But honestly, I've stopped counting. It's weird even for me. I was in a plane crash near the end of World War II. Went into the ice in 45 and stayed frozen for, well, long enough. Nice. When they finally fished me out, the world I knew was long gone. I understand we have that in common. Yes. It has been an adjustment. Believe me, I know. The world has changed a lot since you were last here. But if you need help or just need to talk it out, I'm here, anytime. Thanks, Steve. I sense there is a past between you and Crossbones. He's a mercenary. Real name, Brock Rumlow. Does not seem to like you very much. We go way back. He even killed me once. So you are an immortal. Only if you listen to the Avengers marketing team. It's a long story, but no, I bleed just the same as you. Well, not, not the same as you, or Carol, or Bruce, even Tony and Steven, I guess. But look, I'm mortal. I am glad we had a chance to speak, Steve Rogers. I am too, Hunter. You're not too bad at this leadership thing yourself. Yes. Starting to feel like I could go another 12 rounds. No time like the present. See you around, Hunter. It doesn't really matter what Tony could have done. We must live with it. Man. I told you I don't want to talk about it. Not talking about it won't make it less real. Banner has betrayed us and the tower has fallen. As Lilith rises, we fall. We were always so worried about the damage the Hulk could do. Quietly cheered to ourselves when we thought he might be gone for good. We never once considered what Banner's mind is capable of, unhinged. 
I should have seen this coming. Beating yourself up will not bring the tower back. I should know. I've been where you are now, spending countless hours blaming myself for the loss of the Sanctum for Wanda. Yeah? Well, maybe you didn't blame yourself enough. Some of us don't shrug off our failures so casually. I know you're angry, but if you're looking for a punching bag, may I suggest using the one in the yard and not me? There you go again, throwing in the towel before the fight is over. You're the only one who's fighting? Now take it outside, Tony. I've had enough. It would seem... While he often mocks my mastery of the arcane arts, I'm worried to... to get Lilith. Not good. Nope. Don't like losing the Avengers Tower. This can't be happening, can it? Well, you know my thoughts on the matter. Yes, Sarah, but not everyone's like... Let me guess. You're here to tell me I screwed up. That I should have taken the shot at Banner when I had the chance. Go ahead, Hunter. What are you waiting for? Say it. Tell me I screwed up. You did not do anything wrong, Tony. You just could not bring yourself to kill your comrade. I was weak. I let my love for him get in the way. No, Tony. Your loyalty and empathy are strengths, not weaknesses. Yep. The hell they are. They blinded me to what was actually going on. Damn it, why didn't I see Bruce slipping away? I should have known something was going on with him. All the red flags were there, and I ignored them. Some grand genius I am. I have three masters, a PhD from MI freaking T, and I sat at the helm of one of the planet's greatest companies, but I couldn't even see what was screaming right in front of my face. How did I let him play me like that? Mm. Banner did not fool just you. He fooled us all. Yeah, well, if anyone here should be foolproof, it should be me. You are not the first brilliant man Lilith has deceived. Yep. We are not in control anymore, Tony. No one is safe. No fortress impenetrable. Not now. With my mother emboldening Hydra forces, there is nothing she cannot touch. You know, this, this little pep talk isn't really working for me. Then perhaps I should take my leave. Yeah, you do that, boss. Leave. Some of us find it a little difficult to shoot at our friends. I don't know what Tony was expecting. Saving the world requires making painfully difficult decisions. Hunter, I see the battle at the Avengers Tower has left you relatively unscathed. Relatively. But Lilith has done far more damage than even we imagined. Yep. Yes, I've heard about what happened with Dr. Banner. Lilith is flexing her power in more ways than one. If we weren't the target of her ire, I might have said I was impressed by her growing resourcefulness. She has already proven to be just as powerful as ever. I think our new friends have finally come to realize that. Lilith is not to be trifled with. At least it was not a fatal lesson. You can be sure that Lilith is only going to get more dangerous the longer this goes on. And while we may be forced to wait for her next move, you can still continue your work on the grounds. You think it will help? The more you come to understand about your mother, the better prepared you'll be when it comes time to face her again. Yep. And if you happen to gain a blessing or two from the old gods in the process, 
I'm sure it can't hurt. I will keep looking for more of Wanda's notes and other materials. Let me know if you need my help, dear. Why are we moping around? Let's get out there. You wanted a word? Yes, about Banner. What my mother has done to him is a tragedy. I wish that was all it was. You need to fully understand the gravity of the threat he poses to us now. Banner is a brilliant scientist. No doubt Lilith will find a way to exploit that. You've never met his alter ego. Yep. See, Lilith doesn't just have Banner's genius IQ at her disposal. She has the Hulk, and that's like having a god fight by her side. Not for long. We will get him back. Yes. You know that's not possible. If he is as grave of a threat as you say, we have to try. No, Hunter, he is beyond saving. All we can do now is figure out a way to protect ourselves from him. Okay, I've said my piece. I just hope you heard it. You've never fought anything like the Hulk before. Should I be questioning your judgment too, Carol? Look at the alternative. Let's say Tony took the shot. Perfect bullseye. Bruce is a goner. Nothing but gamma dust. I get where Tony's coming from. If a midnight sun turned vampire, well, let's just say I don't want to think about our friends being cursed to that life. We're in a war. Sure, he made Avengers Tower go boom. Pains me to see you so angry with me. As it pains me to lose a valued friend. Bruce will be pleased to know you feel as such. He appreciates your companionship as well. You misunderstand me. I do not miss Dr. Banner. I mourn him. Yet another soul fallen to your twisted call. More lies taught to you by Sarah and her pet witch. I do not compel Dr. Banner. I released him. Yes. Released him from the shackles of those who've sought to control him his entire life. Such a unique mind. Such a powerful soul. Held in check for so long by his lesser. I cannot help but see the similarity to you, precious child. You Will you not allow me to help you achieve the same? To find a true purpose. Achieve peace. I will only know peace upon your death. And I would happily die for you, if it would truly give you that. I am sure. But we both know it is far more complicated than that. My sister has raised you to be a weapon. Tricked you into believing that's all you are, all you want to be. I am here to show you you are more than that. When the time comes, you will stand by my side, freely. I would never have it otherwise. And I thought I was the one who was dreaming. You have been asleep far too long, child. You must pierce the veil of their false prophecy and... Wake up! <gasps> that is not going to happen. I will never get used to that.
I don't freaking believe this. One falls and everyone's like, oh, freaking... Hey, Hunter. Mind if I join you? Please do. Whoa. Hmm? I just realized we're nearly the same age. It's kind of blowing my mind. Why? In my head, you're ancient. No offense. But you've actually lived fewer years than I have. So, are you one of the kids? Or the second oldest adult? I don't know how to treat you. I have a similar problem with all of you. The world is so different. I can't imagine. Still... If I have to hide from a centuries-old demon queen and her endless minions, I can't think of better compatriots than all of you. And if I can muddle through all this, I'm sure you can too. Thanks, Peter. For what? That's what it means to be a friend. I doubt that's changed across the centuries. You're the absolute best. No! Oh, and you were so close to knocking that gorilla off its platform. Told you, Retro. What do you think? You don't think this whole Bruce Wanna thing is fair either, right? Fair? What do you mean, Nico? Oh, come on. You see the double standard too? I know you do. All they care about is losing Bruce. It's as if Wanda never existed. Now we all have to sit around and cuddle Stark through his grief. Who was there for us when Wanda was taken, huh? Where was our Kleenex and freaking group therapy? Banner was an Avenger, one of their own. They lost a brother. Surely you can empathize with that. Not if they're not going to empathize with us first. Wanda's a midnight sun. Our lives should matter just as much as theirs freaking do. You know, I bet if they had a shot at saving their precious banner boy, they wouldn't hesitate. Yep. How long has Wanda been gone? We've waited long enough for someone to take action. And action is just what I might take. When we hang out, it really doesn't feel like the world is ending. Hey, uh... Can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Hunter. Of all the things to use magic for. Hmm. Nico says I'm Pan. Do I look like a chef? How are you, Carol? Better than Tony, poor guy. I hate seeing him beat himself up over Banner. I mean, every option was some Faustian flavor of crap. Yep. Would you have been able to take the shot? Because I don't think I could have. 